Hi, I'm Jesse from Circuit Analysis, and today we're going to talk about how to automatically load in parts values into the schematic. And we'll do that using the built-in feature and then also write a script to do that for us. So to do the built-in feature, they have this tools load components values, and that loads just a tab delimited text file. So we can go down here to our project folder and make a new text file. And then in here, we can just put the name of all the reference designators, followed by the value. So we put v1.value tab, we can change that to 10. And the dot in the value is telling which property you want to change. So if you want to change a different property, you can put dot like the reference designator or any of the properties if you look in the edit add properties, any of these properties. All right, now we can save our file. And we can go Tools, Load Component Values, select a file to load. And here is our file, Load Values. And we can see over here in the command window, it loaded all these values and we can see our values have changed. So one nice thing about these being tab delimited is that that's the default when you copy and paste stuff in Excel. So I can copy these. If I wanted to, I could have written this little table in Excel here. And then you could just copy your Excel table and paste it in here. And it automatically puts tabs between your columns. So let's add some columns to our spreadsheet and then we can write a script to load the values so we'll have some more flexibility on exactly what we want to load. So what we can do here is we can make a header and give ourselves some column titles here. So we'll make the first column the ref and we can split up our ref from our property here. So we'll call this one prop and then this will be our nominal value and we could do this like a sensitivity kind of analysis. We could put a um, beginning of life min value here, beginning of life max, and then end of life min, end of life max. And then we can move these values over here and we can we convert these to regular numbers. And then we can do some formulas on them. So we'll go 5% down for the min. Okay, so now we can reformat these guys. And we can copy this whole thing, go back to our folder, make a new text file, and paste in our table, and save it. So now we'll make a new script file by going to this new and click on the little arrow down and script. So the first thing you can do with the script, uh, you can use stars to write comments. 
So we'll say we're going to load values from text. And then you can make variables with the let command. So we can say let. We'll do this path. We'll get the path for the current directory. So the script directory is the first element in the path concatenated with the second element. And if we want to see what we are doing here, we can output this with echo. And we can say the working directory is, and if we use the squiggly brackets, then that will evaluate the expression or give the value of the variable. So we can put our variable name here. And then for this to work, we have to save it uh, because it doesn't have a path yet. So we'll save it. And we'll just call this load nom because we'll do the nominal values. So now to run the script, we can click the play button. And we see down here our output, the working directory is C symmetrics demo. So now if we keep running the script, it will keep adding the output to the window. So we can add at the top, clear message window. And now when we run the script, it will first clear the window and then just put our new output. And now that we have the full path, we can add our file name to it. And then we can load the file, loading each line into an array. Now we're going to split each row using the tabs that it's delimited by. And we could just call them using the index of the column 0 through whatever, but we can also do it fancy using search and find the column name in the first row, the headers row. So the first variable headers here is scanning the first line, the one that has the headers in it, and it's using tab delimited. So escape string slash t, that's returning the tab character. And then each of these variables here is getting set to search for the column names. So this here is going to be set to 0, and this will be 1, this will be 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So now we can use the select columns function to get a list of the reference designators from the first column in our file. Next we'll leap through each row and we'll select each part and set the value to whatever is in the text file. So we'll write a for loop and we'll use i as our variable. And we're going to loop the length of the reference designator list minus one because we're starting with zero as the first index. So 
so we'll output that we're selecting the reference designator. And then we'll unselect anything that's currently selected in the schematic. And then we'll select the current reference designator. So next we'll write an if statement to check our select count and see if anything was actually selected. And if it was, then we'll change the value. And if it wasn't, then we'll just skip to the next part. Now we're getting the value for the current property and the current uh, nominal value, and then we'll use the prop function to change to the new value. So now we can save it. So now we're looping through each row in the text file and we're getting the reference designator column and we're searching for that. And if we get a selection, a part selected, then we're using the property column to change that property, in our case being the value property, to the nominal value from the nominal value column. And now if we want to see it run, we can just click play. And because this is the only other schematic open, it will just run on that one. And now we see our output here. It says that it's selected each one and it's set the value to the new value. And you can see all the new values here. So that's it. Thanks.